Well, so now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify the square root of negative 75. So again, we want to break this up into a product and, to get, and um, break this negative into the negative 1. So I can rewrite this as the square root of 75 times the square root of negative 1. Now what I can do is I can work on simplifying each one of these radicals um, by themselves. So I know that the square root of negative 1, that's going to equal i. But now I need to see what is the square root of 75. Now 75 is not a square number, so I can't, it's going to be irrational. But I can simplify it further. And the way for me to simplify it is to break it up into another product with a squared number. So I think of my square numbers you know, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64. Out of those numbers, what evenly divides into 75? Well, that's going to be the square root. That's going to be 25. And 25 divides into 75 three times times negative 1. And if we multiply all these numbers back, we're still going to have our product under a radical, and it better equal negative 75, which this does. However, now what I can do is I can simplify each one of these roots. So the square root of 25, we know is 5. The square root of 3 is going to be remain square root of 3. And the square root of negative 1 is just going to leave us with i. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify with using i. Thanks.